need a bunch of country girls from where they sip lean So palm palm to the drums for the winning team Titty me, pretty freak, turn up on the scene You need to get those jugs up on my big screen You need to get those jugs up on my big screen Yeah, he needs to get his wands up to say that he's seen them You need to one on one with me on the big screen Yeah, to see you and interview you for the big screen Yeah, she's a Pisces I should look at her chart I said, you're a piece of work She said, no, I'm a work of all You born a Saturn, this thing out I'll cut the chase and get the mark She said, I'll do you one better Invest in some of your bras Now I'm getting payments through the shopping carts Baby, those type of occasions Get my cock so hard What's up, everybody? What's going on? So, it was brought to my attention That we need a video Based upon what how to stay up, how to stay lifted because people are getting, people feel down sometimes and they don't know why. They don't even know why they're feeling down. Um, and I'm usually the one who's having more anxiety than depression. Um, I don't really experience depression. However, lately, like I, I can tap into this. Lately, it's like um, I've been feeling little bouts of sadness. So I guess sadness is depression. It's the same thing. Right. So um, what are the cues? What are some things that we can do to get out of this now? Unlike the last video, um, this is going to be a bit different because I'm not even 100 percent sure that I have the solutions for this. Um, depression to me is something that is deeper. It's darker. It's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty serious. I think anxiety is more you can you can channel it because. There's this type of upbeat energy that comes with anxiety that says, okay, you're going to do something. This is what you know. You're going to do something because you have this anxiety to do so. So nine times out of ten, you're going to do it. So it's sometimes like when you're in action, it takes the load off. Um, but depression is a different animal, man. Depression is like you just don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? You just like you have thoughts maybe and then you're just like, ah. Why? Why bother? Why do it? Why? This is, this, is, this is a lot of that right now. Um, so this is pretty much going to be more serious now. I'm going to start mentioning signs and planets and stuff along the way, but um, just bear with me if I don't have any concrete solutions on how to do this one. You know what I'm saying? We're in this together. So, um, but before we get into this, this is a disclaimer. I'm not a health um, practitioner or licensed health practitioner. One thing that I do want to say, though, if you're feeling depressed, drink a cup of coffee. Um, I tell everybody that who, you know, my clients included, whenever they hit me up and they're like, yo, I'm feeling depressed. The first thing I do is tell them to drink a cup of coffee because, you know, that'll raise the alertness. That'll raise the energy, the caffeine to perk you up and just pull you out of that depressive rut. Like I could go drink a cup of coffee right now. And pull myself out of because I've been feeling type blah today myself, but I've done a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And I've been telling myself to lay off for the coffee because I'll be going super hard when I be on the coffee. And you know, I just spoke about it in Secret Houses podcast. You know what I'm saying? How the coffee is a psych stimulant that adds on to the fire sign, to the fire energy. You know what I'm saying? So if if you're already doing things, you're already active and you're activating yourself at a natural pace and then you give yourself some psych stimulants that's illegal. This is why the slogan is America runs on Duncan like it's not a game. Like America really runs on Duncan. Like everybody is zipping and zooming and uh you can't really you know they're 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 crashing without it. They're groggy without it. People are groggy without their coffee. You know what I'm saying? And they're like wild animals. Then they get the coffee, and it's just like, oh, now you can talk to them and stuff like that. And um, you know the coffee crashes occur. I mean, I, it's all in the secret houses. I don't want to take y'all. I don't want to drag y'all through that. Um, but just listen. If you if you really depressed, drink a cup of coffee and tell me how that works out for you. Um, it works. It works for me whenever I'm feeling down. Um. So I wrote a couple of notes down, you know what I'm saying, to see how we can unearth this thing or at least feel around for the causes. And, you know, I can come up with some scenarios or some examples of when I actually pulled myself out of the feelings that I was feeling. You know what I'm saying? So what do I got here? What do I got here? Um, 
I said one of them is observation. Like, I've been observating a lot, right? And it's like every time I see something, it's like it's like hypercritical time or, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not hypercritical time, it's a symbol, like something is symbolic or it's imagery. It's speaking to me like, um, I guess... I guess people in the medical field to call it crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's like speaking to me in messages to where it's like, you know, for Pisces, this is this is I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But everything is like a hint to something else. Cueing and prompting. See, no, I can't really say that. Let me rephrase that because, you know, I remember I recall taking psychology classes and um prompting and cueing. Great lessons that I learned on prompting and cueing. So that let me know, like, okay, I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because prompting and cueing is like you, let's say you learn something with your brain or whatever the case may be, and you have the thought to like follow through on it. It's something that you like, something that you want to do in life. And then you're like in motion and you see something that hints to that same thing that, but it's not like you would just in motion to do that thing. This is a reminder that you see. That sparks the reminder in you and you're like, oh, okay, boom. But it's symbolic and it's just like, okay, when you get back home or whatever, you might go back into the books and revise something, or, you know, whether it could be a book you're working on or a project that you're working on. And it's like, okay, yeah, now it's time to get back to that because of what I just saw. You know what I'm saying? That reminded me of it. It's a cue. It's a prompt to get back to that thing, right? So... These observations make me tap in like that, and it's like, I feel like I'm in another world sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I can't have the regular type normal conversations with other people due to this, you know what I'm saying? Because they're not tapping into the same vein. So it's kind of like, this is another thing that I was saying, right? Um, I don't feel like my, my, I don't like my dating options. I don't like my local dating options. See, this is this is part of it. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of like one of those things because I'll see an opportunity and I'll recall something that I said to myself or maybe I studied and I was like, okay, I need to avoid that or I need to stay away from that or I need to put this framework this way so that this doesn't occur or that doesn't occur. And then the next thing you know, I'm presented with an opportunity to date or something like, yeah, to date. And it's like, nah, you know what I'm saying? And it almost feels staged. No, it doesn't even almost feel staged. It feels staged. Like, look, this is your only option, and this is your only option because you're local. You know what I'm saying? The two of you are local. This is also your only option because this is one of the few out of many that you talk to or that you know like that or that you feel comfortable with like that, right? And then you tell yourself, oh, no, this, but this is simple, or oh, this is something I've done before, or this is not going to make things better, or this is not going to make the two of us grow. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a part of me, and it could be a part of you, too, that says, well, it beats a blank, right? Because I'm, I'm feeling kind of lonely, so I might as well just go ahead and engage. But then it's just like you've been working on this. You've been trying to get something better out of it. Like you've been, you know how they, sometimes they say sex is overrated and stuff like that. It's just like, even that thought may cross my mind. And I'm just like, you know, I'm like, like, nah, I'm not, I'm not as excited as I, as I want to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think I'm worthy enough or even the, the significant other, the low, the local dating option is just not worthy enough I, I felt like it hasn't been worked towards and pisces i know you can really definitely um agree with that when it's like you work towards sex and stuff so that's been happening right um i've been i've been looking at my options like it's staged now i'm going to get to why even more they feel staged right before i say that though i can't date my long distance options because they're long distant you know what i'm saying and it just doesn't behoove me to even take a flight round trip just for that you know what i'm saying it's just like even that for me it's like it's got to be worth something more it's got to be about something bigger like there's always this bigger picture in in my mind and trust me the plan is in motion, but sometimes it feel like it's not occurring quick enough. 
sometimes it feels like um you know all of the pieces are not coming together because I'm not being aggressive which I'm going to get to but I'm going to save that for last so keep that mental note right so um more along the lines of these things being staged right um in the the departure from it i think has a lot to do with uranus being inside of taurus right now because taurus is a sign of human connection right so and i you know i prepared for this before you know i did videos last year 2018 on taurus uranus going inside of taurus and what we can expect and it, and it's here now i'm starting to feel it now you know what i'm saying i'm starting to feel like Connecting with you guys even via YouTube is like more empowering to me than actually connecting with someone in person. Um, this is something up a Pisces alley though because we use our imagination a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of it's kind of a step closer than using your imagination to make your imagination seem realer because you can actually remotely contact someone and potentially someone that you care about. Right? I care about y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, but for real though, you know what I'm saying? And that's even with everyday text and FaceTime emails and stuff like that, right? Um, but at the same time, there's a part of the body that's also yearning for human connection. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's like this preparation that is done, you know, working a lot, working a lot. of A lot of y'all are working a lot and not getting the human connection. I think that's one of the causes of this depression, this feeling down and everything. So I'm going to say the causes too because it's like some people just don't know what it is that has them down and i think it's working and not being able to get the human connection the true human connection that you desire whether it's one person or whether it's with many you know what i'm saying maybe you just are settling for the local dating options or you know i don't want to break up any happy house i mean any households right now but you know maybe the same old thing just ain't getting it no more either you know what i'm saying um, and then we have this technology at our fingertips that affords us the convenience to do it differently or do it with someone else or, you know, it's just so many more options than it would be when we were subject to our local options before, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, you know, for those of you who can, who relate to that time period or whatever. So I think Uranus and Taurus is shaking things up a bit and, um, Aggressive marketing, I said that we're going to get to that later, but okay. So I think there's something about Pluto being inside of Capricorn that's really creating these uh, these ethnic time loops for me. Let me know if y'all feel what I'm talking about right now, right? I think there's this underlying current that is very subtle. So like, again, if you said you may feel down, you don't know what it really is. There's this subtle thing, and I, I figured it out. This is going to sound kind of out there, though, but there's this subtle thing that suggests that all of the earth elements that has us organized, that has us filed off, like the check the box for, and this is why I said ethnic shocks, all of the check in the boxes that we've been doing throughout our lifetime has, um, it's like a compu it's like a computation. It has somehow caused us to interact or to be present and in front of people that go along the lines of these boxes that we've checked now i'll give you an example right not too long ago this may sound racist it's really not and if, if it does sound racist it's really because of the i guess you could say colonization of people checking the boxes or the categorizing of humans you know i didn't start it you know what i mean we just got to get through this y'all so feel hear me out right so I go on a trip somewhere, right? So when I get on the trip, now when I in this institution, it's all sort of like a gathering, it's like a conference, right? So in this institution where I'm going to the conference, um, we check the box. Now my ethnic background is Indian, Italian, and Black. Indian, Italian, and Black. Those three ethnicities, right? So you know, sometimes I dance all around the border. Before I didn't even know all of my nationalities. I just used to say I'm Black. You know what I mean? Flat out, I'm Black. I'm Black. And then you know. As time went on, you know, some family receipts get revo get revealed to me, and then you know, I come from one of those types of families. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but this particular faction, I checked the box black. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to the conference or whatever, and you know, I go for, I go by myself. I go for myself, like I'm a, I'm a loner. Like that's how I move. You know what I'm saying? I could be with people, I could be without people, but I'm definitely the type of dude. 
that likes to move along. You know what I'm saying? So that way I'm lighter and stuff. You know, but here on there, I'm not even going to detail all of that. So I get to the conference by myself, right? And I'm not asking for hooking up. I'm not. I'm not even there for that. This is not even one of those types of conferences, anyway. Somehow the universe is just like toying with me, right? A woman comes up to me, sees me, invites me to hang out with them, and okay, we go ahead, we go and we do it, right? I didn't. We didn't do it, do it, but that opportunity presented itself and I went for it. I'm like, all right, I'll hang out with you. You know what I'm saying? So we're hanging out, whatever the case may be. Now, this this lady is black. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like this shit is just so corny to actually even speak like this now to me. But here and there, I got to bring the, the message through. So we're hanging out. Come to find out, shorty is all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's mad, funny. she got a personality, all that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep with her, though. I didn't sleep with her. Um... Do I am I confident enough to say I'm not cocky to say yeah I could have slept with her but I do believe that I could have slept with her you know what I'm saying but again this is one of those things that signal to me like yo look this is happening because of the box that you checked you know what I'm saying um this whole faction asks other people to check the box as well you know what I'm saying and this is how the chain of events went on so Tom goes on during the conference during the event. I guess the universe says, well, oh, look, this guy didn't hook up and shag the the black lady that we offered into his presence. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now here come Hispanic chick. We start kicking it. Right. We're hitting it off. But not only one Hispanic chick, two Hispanic chicks. And they um gave me their phone numbers before we went to our lodging area. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just like, OK. Um, I see what that's about. Now, mind you, I, of course, I checked the block. I checked the box that said black, but now I'm thinking about cultural differences and stuff like that, and how um, you know, like they say Hispanics are like hot blooded and stuff like that and everything. So now I'm thinking like I'm about to get it in. So I go into my room, into my lodge. I'm large by myself, mind you, right? Um, but these two ladies, they're lodged in the room together. So, you know, my, my whole radar is going off like, yo, I'm supposed to go up there with both of them. You know what I'm saying? So I go inside of the room, right? This is, yo, I kid you not. This is no joke. I go inside of my room and, you know, the bed's already made up and stuff. You know how it be already. And there's like a card on my bed that says it has the name of one of the girls that gave me their number. So I'm like, yo, how? how I? But, you know, it was... You know how the um, housekeeping ladies, they leave their name behind on the cards that they leave behind. So I'm, it probably was housekeeping ladies' name. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't doubt that. But the synchronicity, you understand what I'm saying? The subtle prompting and cueing of this woman's name was the same name of the woman that was upstairs. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm sitting there, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay. So many roads are leading to Rome right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, go upstairs and take them down. But then I'm like, no, I'm fighting myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, like, no, 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 no. That's not why I'm here. I'm here for business. You know what I'm saying? Like, so again, I feel like things are staged, and I feel like, um, I feel like these things are staged, but not for my betterment. That's a word, right? Not for my betterment. You know what I'm saying? I think it's for my folly. I think it's for my Oh, take my mind off of this, take my focus off of X, Y, and Z to possibly have fun or whatever the case may be. But it's like, this is what I'm saying. When you observe something, it's no longer fun anymore. Like, you know how, uh, just tap in with me real quick if you understand what I'm talking about. You know how when you was just like younger and innocent, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you'd have a drink here and there. Maybe you drink every weekend or whatever the case may be. You go to the clubs and stuff like that. Like, experiences to me seem so fun and innocent during those times because I wasn't as focused. I wasn't as alert. I wasn't as what people are calling woke right now. You know what I'm saying? So to get involved in those experiences and not really care about them or not even think about them until after they occurred was cool. And that was really largely part of why those experiences were so much fun. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like I could see so many things coming before they happen and from miles away and all of the symbolic stuff occurring. And it's just like I've already made up my mind before I can even give anyone else the opportunity to say, you know, let's have some fun or let's try this. Let's try this. Let's, 
you know, let's hook up. Or you, you want to drink? And then I, like, refuse to drink. And then, like, this asshole. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what is he? One of these fucking vegans. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, you might rub somebody wrong. But at the same time, you make these decisions for yourself that you want to change or do something different. And you feel like possibly you are ruining someone else's good time. Or, and you know, you may even feel bad for people. Like, man, I'm being a killjoy or whatever the case may be but you know deep down inside that you've been working for the past umpteen years to reach this level of life where you're at right now so that's possibly a reason why um you're feeling down and um another thing that goes along the lines with that right like i was thinking like i think um colonization like i said the earth elements right having us filed off and categorized in all of these different boxes and stuff, um, I think a lot of us are waking up from that now. Some of us are, are missing our indigenous tribes. Like I think I'm having ev- evolutionary psychology loops. Like just today I was I had so like this what happened today, right? Um I ordered some stuff from Amazon stuff got here. Now I had to order some canvas material because I'm working on um some fabric putting together some fabrics for some fashion stuff, right? So by accident, I guess, I ordered canvas and the canvas came in the form of actual art canvases, you know what I'm saying, that you paint on. I'm no painter, you know what I'm saying? Um, So now I got all of these canvases here. I'm going to use one of them for what what I needed it for, but now I got like mad extra canvases. So the first thing that popped up in my head was this painting that I saw not too long ago from an associate of mine. And, um, you know, I wanted to buy it from them. And, you know, I haven't heard back from them. You know, they're probably busy, tied up doing something else or whatever the case may be. So in this painting, there's an there's an Indian it's a painting of an Indian portrait of an Indian girl. You know what I'm saying? So we made that clarification. And, um, you know, I was talking about how I'm part Indian and stuff like that. So, you know. I go, that popped up in my mind, prompting and cueing once these canvases got hit. You know what I'm saying? So I said, all right, I'm taking it easy today. Now, look, I was supposed to take it easy all day. I told myself, I'm going to take it easy all day. I earned it. You know what I'm saying? Here I go getting up at 11.30 a.m., going to put my stuff on, and I'm going out the door to go find me some paint brushes and oils and stuff, painting oils. And I don't, I'm not a painter. So I go, I find all of the stuff. I get back. On my way back, um, I'm seeing a lot of Mexican women. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my community is pretty diverse anyway. But it's just like more than anything, I'm seeing Mexican women. Like the probability, right, of seeing that many Mexican women, I wouldn't think it would be that high. But it's just like the prompting and the cueing of where my mind was and my memory being recalled is bringing me back to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, The uh, place that I, that I stayed, uh, the compound is named after my, after my mother's last name. And that's where I get my Indian heritage from. You understand what I'm saying? So (laughs) check this out. I walk past all of these Mexican women, right? So I'm getting closer to where I live at. I pass another, I'm passing another, but she's not Mexican. She's like real indigenous, like real tribal, one of those Indians, the cheekbones like mine, but she's got this real long hair, the complexion a bit darker than mine. She's looking like a straight Pocahontas, body off the chain. She gets out of a car that is, um, the car, put it this way, the car is manufactured in a place that has been looking out for me when it comes to like business and stuff like that. It's not America though. You know what I'm saying? She hops out one of those. Um, she got these heavy bags in her hand and she got kids. So again, my whole local thing, right? So I'm looking at her like, yo, that's more along the lines of what I prefer right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm looking at her. She got the heavy bags. So the first thing that come on my mind is like, okay, it might not be no man in the house or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Because it's children. She got like two kids right there too. So it's the typical story of where, you know, the, the the neighborhoods and the ghetto and stuff like that. And where I stay is not that ghetto, trust me when I tell you. But still, it's just like 
the same typical story has like hit this household. You know what I'm saying? And a thought rushes my mind to, you know, grab the bags, help her with them upstairs, you know, but that's really aggressive. That's offensive. Definitely could be in this t- day and time. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I see her struggling with the bags. Like, I'm not saying like they were too heavy for her to carry, but they was heavy, B. And her kids were not taking them off for of her hands. You know what I'm saying? Her kids were rather small at that. You know what I'm saying? They waiting for their mother. So they go upstairs and go in the building, wherever the case may be. And um, and she was giving me eye contact and all of that. You know what I'm saying? No lie. She was like, I was feeling the vibes. You know what I'm saying? And I just kept it pushing, walked on by. Now I looked at the license plate. The license plate on the car is the state where my associate that I was telling you about lives who had the painting of the Indian. You understand what I'm saying? So all of this is telling me like, yo, right now you're just tapping into the vibes of the indigenous of your people. You know what I mean? It might be some type of mission involved as well. Oh, yeah, and I kid you not. I get in the lab, right? Let me, let me finish. I get in the lab. I go on Instagram. I check the stories. And I see this girl that, you know, I think she's kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? I check her stories or whatever the case may be. And um, she's wearing this wardrobe that is really like Indian style. It's just blowing my mind the whole entire time, right? So here it is. I'm telling you guys this, right? Because I'm not going to call any of my closest friends that I grew up with and stuff like that and tell them about this stuff. They're going to be like, yo, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? They're going to joke about it or whatever the case may be. And it's not that I care about um, being embarrassed for talking about this stuff. Obviously, I'm on live television talking about this stuff. You know, Well, not live, but you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you guys are an audience. You know what I'm saying? It's like tribe attract tribe. It's like y'all tapped into this channel because I do speak about stuff like this. So this is a way to not feel depressed. It's like to really express yourself somehow. Now, I know everybody don't got a YouTube channel and everybody doesn't probably want to start a YouTube channel to get themselves through this. But hearing myself talk is so therapeutic for me that it works. So however you might do it. And now you might even do it like this, right? Um, You might even just speak to your phone. Speak to your phone sometimes and play it back. That's how I began my YouTube channel. I didn't really want to do this, you know what I'm saying, I ain't really want to put my face out there and do all this YouTube stuff, I started on my phone, like, just speaking thoughts to myself, you know what I'm saying, speaking thoughts to my phone, and I'd play them back to myself, and I'd feel real good about hearing myself talk, and be like, yo, you could talk, like, this could go somewhere, you could do something with this, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty good stuff, so, I mean, that helps, but these evolutionary, psychological, I think this happening even more because... Um, because of Pluto being inside of Capricorn, you know, Capricorn is, you know, the organization, the corporation type organization at that. And, you know, I used to have this attitude towards corporate and this attitude towards, um, you know, just coercion period. I've always been like the type of nonconformist and I used to always just pin so much on Capricorn and pin so much and pin so much and until I did, started doing more studies and more studies, right? And, um, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm pull back a little bit on people having jobs and, you know, wage workers and stuff like that. Like, yo, do your thing. If you're out there doing your thing, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but even though I do support independent contracting over everything because then no one has to tell you what to do. They, they love you and they'll hire you for your work that they've seen you done already. Um, but that may be another thing that's keeping you down and it's subtle. So you don't know what it's like. Yeah, you're going to work every day and everything, but they don't truly value you for you because if they did, like they'll train you and they'll never tell you, hey, Mark, do this. Can you do this? But make sure you do it like that. And you might be like, dude, I do this every day. Come on. I got this. Why would you even ask me or make say make sure, or, you know, just little things like that could like just tear you up like, yo. I'm the man. You don't know that Mark is the man now. You know what I'm saying, so to speak, or whatever the case may be. So, you know, it could be it could be that type of stuff, man. Um, and you know, doing your work, doing your work to the point where, um, you don't. 
you don't feel and this is this is the point that I was making the fire signs it's really the fire and this is nothing to knock my fire signs out there y'all but the fire sign energy is just it's just way too aggressive it makes one question themselves whether they're doing enough work or not like tell me am I right or am I wrong y'all I find myself being overproductive and then when I try to sit myself down and be like yo look at everything you've done like yo just chill for a minute like, I just be feeling like I got to do something else. And it's the fire energy that does that. Aggression comes with the fire signs. The earth elements, Capricorn included, just puts it in play. You know what I'm saying? And Capricorn just grips it because Capricorn wants to be responsible for it all. Capricorn wants to make sure that it, that it, that it is called work. And people get rewarded for what they work, what, they, what their hands do. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's really the fire signs that puts that aggressive point in there. So I'm telling you, this is one thing that gets me down is aggressive marketing. Now, don't get me wrong. I pretty much like my women aggressive. You know what I'm saying? At least to a degree. Um, but when it's really like aggressive marketing from companies and, you know, all of the emails coming in, it's just like, yo, give it a break. Like, are you serious? But this also lets me know something about the economy and what's happening. Like, this is how you get to figure out yourself. Like, yo, am I working too much or should I just chill out a little bit? And this is what I come to terms with. Like, yo, if you are right. And it's something I learned about cancer energy, right? Cancers, cancer energy, they reach for security, right? They go all out and do what they do for security. And it's to the point where they do it so much that when they got everything that they need, they still go out there and they try to get more. They still go out there and they try to do more because enough is never enough. You know what I'm saying? Security is also a state of mind, something I learned in studying. Studying astrology, though, not even college, studying astrology. So I started applying that to my life. I started feeling much better about myself. You know what I'm saying? But it's not until... You observe, this is what I'm saying, observation could be making you feel like this too. You observe someone do something and then all of a sudden make you start guilt tripping. Like, yo, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing something too, right? Like, I'm supposed to be work. Like, you could see somebody work hard and you might guilt trip like, yo, I'm not even working hard. Like, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really fell back. Security is a state of mind. I'm cool and I'm not doing nothing. All of a sudden, here you go working again. And it's it, it can be confusing, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like almost because the expectancy. Some of us are living with expectancies that are not of our own. We're living expect for with expectancies of someone else, of us. So I think this is probably a major concern of depression or why people are depressed because Somewhere lingering in the back of your mind, you know that you're moving for other people. You're doing stuff for other people. That must be like one of the hardest things to ever admit. You know what I'm saying? And then because you don't want to be looked at like this. or You don't want to be looked at like that. You know what I mean? And I, even myself, I had a dream last night that like signaled to that. Like, yo, um, this girl was trying to make me feel some type of a way. For not doing something for someone. You know what I'm saying? Or doing something for someone a little bit. And, um, you know, I awoke with that last dream that I had. But I'm just like, you know, I'm not tripping that. Again, that's the universe trying to get at me. You know what I'm saying? Trying to say, look, you're not doing enough. Go do some more. Go do some more. Go do some... It's just like, for what? It's not for me because I'm cooling right now. I wasn't even going to do this video. But I said, you know what? I'm tap I feel that Uranus and Taurus energy and I'm like, yo, I wanna talk to somebody, but I don't wanna call nobody that I necessarily know personally and talk to them. I don't. I don't because I don't I don't have that type of connection with them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing too, like new relationships, new people coming into your life. There's a there's there's a uh you know, it's like when you think, if if you think about the people that you used to bond with before that you don't bond with like that anymore, you kind of remember those, the feeling of those times. You know what I'm saying? I, I think the energy, the aspects that's in the air right now, I don't think really pe people are really focusing on the past at all right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's that feeling. It's the feeling of human connection that if you were to like, 
if someone were to ask you, like, yo, have you connected with someone like that lately? You might have to actually reminisce and think about the times that you were with your, with your childhood friends and stuff like that. And some of y'all are still hanging out like that. Like, I know I'm, pro- I'm probably different than everybody, but for those of y'all that are going through this, you know, the embarking on new endeavors, a lot of the times includes new people. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you might be yearning or longing to make stronger connections with those people. But in the meantime, it's like you're using this Uranus energy because Uranus rules over the Internet. You know know what I'm saying? So it's like you're using this Uranus energy to tap in and connect with the people who you like, you know. I wonder what they're doing right now. I wonder what they're seeing. Like, I could see a comment in my comment section sometimes, and people just be like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm glad you said this. I'm glad this video dropped. As soon as I seen this video, I clicked it. Um, You know, I'm glad you dropped the video today. You know what I mean? Some of that stuff makes me know that the things that I'm speaking about is valid. When you can get involved with small talk or just conversation that people not take for granted, but it's just like, Again, it's expected of them to, of you to talk with them, and then like sometimes there's no substance to that converse, conversation because of that. Like it's just it's like second nature. It's just like hi, bye, hey, how you doing? And, you know, I was told, I'll tell y'all in a few videos. Like I despise small talk. It's just like hey, how you doing? Like somebody, I just shut somebody off not too long ago. They like hey, I'm like hi. Like, ah, well, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm good. Everything's fantastic. They're like, oh, how's this? I'm like, yo, I said everything is fantastic. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, ah, I'm, a, I'm an asshole. You know what I'm saying? But I'm serious, though. Like, yo, read the fine print. Like, I said everything is fantastic. You know what I'm saying? If you're not telling, talking to me about something, like, phenomenal or glamorous, somebody just said glamorous and it just... Made me feel mad happy (laughs) just because they said glamorous, you know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, this video pulls you out of the right. I'm not going to keep you out too long, right? Kept you out 35 minutes. I'm going in, right? But, um, but yeah, it's definitely that. Okay, this is another thing. This is another tip that I wrote down. Let me get back to my notes. I'm going to talk as long as I want to. I might go for an hour now. But look, organizing things makes me feel much better. Like, this place was just a mess, like. About um, 45 minutes ago, I was um, painting. I actually did a painting. <laughs> I'm in here painting, right? I got painting going over here. I'm working out over here. Um, I'm cooking in the back. I just got a new juicer, so I'm juicing up juices and stuff, categorizing that. I got serious OCD. Like, my OCD is so serious. Like, if, if you ride through my neighborhood in a full passenger car by yourself, like, I'm irate. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just compartmentalizing everything in my apartment again. But I can get very messy. I got a Sagittarius fourth house. I can make this place just... But it'd be art and everything going on everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, I come back to my senses and I I organize things and put it back together because I won't be able to function. This makes me feel much better. So if you got a cluttered area, if you got a cluttered house... um, even Even down to your computer, if you've just been downloading a lot of stuff, not... Filing it, not putting it in folders, start creating them folders, start deleting the stuff that you don't need, delete the trash too, clean up your computers and stuff. This way, things don't catch you off guard. This way, also, when things prompt and cue you to follow through on things that you've already decided to do, you'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that's another thing that's important about prompting and cueing is that, you know, you've had these plans and in your in your mind for for a minute now and you know it's just like when you when you're somewhere on the humble and you're just like oh man you remember something you're like yo i forgot to do that that's my word i'm gonna do that this week you know what i'm saying but it's like you got you're juggling so many things during the day during the week that you don't get to focus on that you know what i'm saying because if you did focus on it more you'll get prompt and cued to do things the same way I got prompt and cued all day today. You know what I'm saying? It's because I, I did everything I needed to do and I actually had some time to chill. Organized everything. So when I got prompt and cued for that, to remember that, it's like, ah, okay, yeah, get back to that now because it's for me. And this is how sometimes people miss out on the opportunities and the dreams that are for them, the dreams that they most desire because they're juggling other things, you know, and that's saddening in its own 
you know, you might not think that it's sad because you're helping someone. You know what I'm saying? You're doing something for someone and you're helping it. You're helping them, excuse me. So, you know, especially if you're religious, you're like, you know, I'm doing my good deed. You know what I'm saying? God going to bless me. God going to reward me. God's going to do this. X, Y, and Z. Like, I had another person to say, you know, they keep saying, thank God, and, you know, this, that, and the third. And I just feel like telling them, like, yo, tone it down a bit. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I don't really know them that well yet anyway. But, you know, they, I, I feel like they're using that as, like, a way to, like, pray on me. You know what I'm saying? They keep saying, God, this, God. And it, this conversation might not have nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you, you're still pouring it on a, a little heavy right now, you know? Um, but again, it's like you're doing stuff for people. So that part makes you feel justified in your actions. But in all actuality, subconsciously, you know you're supposed to be doing something else. That's saddening. It's saddening when you and I'm I'm probably triggering it in you right now. But like I said, we're gonna get through this together, y'all. I'm probably triggering it in you right now because if you haven't truly admitted it yet, you're forced to admit it now. You're forced to admit it now. And what are you gonna do now? You might tell yourself like, "Yo, that's my word, no matter what." Soon as this video goes off, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. So you might have to write it down. You might have to write it down and put it on a magnet on the refrigerator. I had to do this stuff to my to myself sometimes. I had to beat myself up and write stuff down. I got a good memory, you know what I'm saying? But I had to write stuff down and put it on my refrigerator. I know I'm going in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or tape stuff to my wall. Like that looks mad tacky, but it's like, yo. You got to do it or you're going to keep passing this thing up. You're going to keep not doing this stuff. I mean, I did so many things today. The small little things, too. Like, they left a voicemail. You got to call this number back. Press option one, then press option two, then press option two, then ask for Teresa. Then that went through all of that. You know what I'm saying? Get it out of my way. Get it out of my way because I want to chill. You know what I'm saying? I want to chill. I want to do the things that I really want to do. So I think that is probably the number one factor that has people depressed. And the only reason why you don't know what it is is because you're not admitting it. You're you're such a hero in everyone else's life. Employer included. You know, just everybody you interact with, you're such a hero in their lives that you, you all your stuff is on it. Not all of it, but... A good part of your stuff is on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, look out for that um, aggressive marketing, too. So this is another thing that y'all can do, right? Unsubscribe from all of those emails that are... Especially you getting alerts for them, yo. You ever get them alerts for those emails, right, y'all? Because, you know, that's like a that's a shot of dopamine. You know what I'm saying? You get those alerts, those notifi- notifications. It feels great, especially when you... Linking up with people that you want to link up, right? You get the good news. Might be money and everything. Then you get an email from... You be like, yo, what is this? Like, why am I... Why am I still getting emails from these people? Yo, unsubscribe from all of them. Put filters or from all of them. Forward them to your Yahoo email address. I started doing all of that. I said Yahoo because that's like the wasteland. Who Y'all still using Yahoo? I don't use my Yahoo no more. You know what I'm saying? So I forward the emails that I don't want to put the keyword in it. Forward that to Yahoo. I don't want to see it here no more. You know what I'm saying? Or all of these old joints that I subscribe to and that I don't even need. I just did it because I thought, oh, it was just a great idea. Unsubscribe from all of them. Because that's where even the internet frauds is and all that. That's where they be coming from. All of a sudden, you getting these, oh, click here. You just won $1,000. I ain't won no $1,000. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, stop lying, man. Ain't nobody win no $1,000. I ain't win no iPad. Stop lying. You know what I'm saying? Cut all of them out. Get them out of there. So you can minimize to the point where everything that comes through is of importance. You know what I'm saying? The same way that they categorized us, sectioned of us off, and I don't even know who they is, y'all. So I'm not talking about 
you know, any secret societies or the government or this country, that country. I don't know who they are. I just know that it happened, like numbers, Deuteronomy, the Exodus, and, you know, here we are in this land. You know what I'm saying? So the same way that that happened with us, do that with your life. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously that happened with us or to us so that other people's lives could be greater. You know what I'm saying? So this is a way to get out of your rut is to organize your lives so that your life can be greater too. You know what I'm saying? All of the boxes that you've checked in your life, you know, do that like you know, attend to your attend, attend to your check boxes, yo. Attend to your check boxes. You know what I'm saying? And, and we we got to deal with who we are and what we are, the boxes that we've checked. Whether you've checked, I done checked Indian, I done checked black, I done checked, oh, I, there's, never, there's not ever an Italian box. I don't know what that's about, but I guess that's a whole nother story, right? I can't even, that's a mystery in its own. I probably got to talk about that in Secret Houses, right? Um, But yeah, attend to your check boxes, man. We can't avoid who we are, where we came from, where our ancestors came from, none of that. But just pay attention when you walk by, you know what I'm saying? And remember when you see people and you see things and you see symbols on trucks and stuff, remember the boxes you check in every institution, in every faction you've been to. You know what I'm saying? Remember the boxes you checked and be like, that's kind of strange that, you know, where these groups of people are here with this and they live here, we live here and they... It's really not as strange as you may think it is. It's like, oh, that's right, because we, we check those boxes. You know what I'm saying? Go to census.gov and spend some time around census.gov. I mean, I don't know. Maybe more knowledge. You know, sometimes knowledge is like anguish. You know what I'm saying? But, again, that's one of the things that got people depressed, too, is that you're pretty woke. Or what people are calling woke it's, that word is getting tossed around a lot, so I'm trying to think of just something else. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good word to clarify. Like, you look at, you know, you took that red pill. So that, that alone can be depressing. Because you can walk past things that you used to participate in at such an alarming rate with ease. And you just, you don't, you're not with it no more. You're just like, uh you just got that blah, you you're blah, and that's depressing. That's sad. It's just like blah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. I don't want to do that either. And then if you do watch a movie, you feel like, oh, I'm supposed to be working, and it's just it's just nuts. Be in the moment. I know. Um, I just saw a video not too long ago, and it was like, oh, don't. They said live for the moment, though. I wouldn't say live for the moment, y'all, but be in the moment. You know what I'm saying? And do do believe that what you do at this moment will bring forth not necessarily the actual next moment, but the next few moments is going to be produced by what you're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So keep be mindful of that. But, you know, if no one's chasing you, don't run. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the fire energies of the world get to you because... You know, it's really that economy talk. You know, everybody's trying to make a sale right now. You know what I'm saying? Let your work speak for itself. Let you speak for yourself. Even if you got to, even if you sell fashion, you got to, you a model, you post your pictures, to just post the pic and fall back and let it happen. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to go sending mass texts into people's inboxes to get, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that aggressive marketing stuff right now, it's just like, yo, relax, chill. And if you need that bad, if you're in a state of need so constantly, like you can't really be my friend, not right now. You know what I'm saying? Like not, 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 not right now. Not like that. You know what I'm saying? Not like that. Or you could be my friend, or you could associate with me, but just don't, don't try to like sell me nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? If I like your stuff, I'll buy your stuff, yo. That's my word. I will. But don't like, don't try to be cool with me and sell me that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll buy that shit before you. You won't even know. You'll just be like, oh, purchase from me. Like, oh, I didn't even know he was looking like that. Yeah, I've been looking. Just chill. I'm just, you know, I'm organizing my check boxes. 
So I hope this helps whoever watched it. If you watched it for the whole entire 15 minutes, kudos to you. You know, you are special to me. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like y'all are here right now anyway. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to upload this and get back to um, chilling. Like, I'm going to really try to chill for the rest of the night. I'm going to try to chill. I'm not going to try to work. I'm going to just chill, do some reading and stuff. Watch a movie later. Tom Cruise flick. And then I'm out. Oh, there goes the phone. All right, I'm out, y'all.